brand new 600 grit diamond wheel. That's not the one I'm, yeah it is, that's the one I've been using. You do these on a negative rake, five degrees. Good thing about the negative five degree rake is you get two edges. Oh, you could see that very well. Now I'm going to flip it around and do this side. sharper. Don't want to put too much force on that wheel because you scrape the diamonds off of it. Then you end up with a $100 wheel that's not very good. There we go. Now that's the first part of doing this scraping stuff. You need a sharp blade. Second part, as you come over here, to the, is you need a place to blue up your gibbs. These two here are off the bridge port and I haven't touched them yet. I'm going to take you out and show you what I have been touching. Hey guys. Sorry I've been missing in action. Kind of a combination of different things. One is been busier than a one-legged man in a butt kicking contest. So busy I don't remember where my tool went. I'll be right back. Not to worry, I found it. This is a Biox scraper. And what I'm doing today is working on the Bridgeport Gibbs getting them back in shape. Now this one is the one for the knee. And that blue stuff is this ink I'm going to show you. On top of my granite surface plate. And what I've been doing is I've been scraping this with this machine you get it perfectly flat. And once you scrape a while, you take it, you put this on that table and you rub it and it transfers the blue ink to this. And wherever you see blue ink means it's high. So right now I'm just getting rid of the high spots because I got a few little spots over here that are low and damaged in it. And up here's a little bit. 
This is only coming back in right now. I've done this maybe 10, 15 times so far. I had to kind of gently bend it to get it even close, but we're almost there. <coughs> Basically, I take this machine and take off all the blue. Sorry I haven't been around. I tell you, doing a lot of YouTube takes so much of my time that now that YouTube doesn't pay worth a flip, uh, never has really for me, but it's hard to justify to my wife why I spend so much time doing this. So I've got over 400 videos. You guys can go watch some of the old ones, you know, while I'm not around. Second reason, it gets depressing after a while when your channel doesn't grow too fast or just stagnates. And, and a lot of that's because of YouTube. They've been playing games with who they recommend and all that, and it's just, it just gets frustrating. And you know, I don't sit here and yell at you to subscribe and like and, and send donations and all that stuff. I just figure if you want to, you will. But it does get depressing when you start going backwards because you haven't put out a video in three weeks. Second reason I'm cast into a play in the episode of theater. I got stages to build, lines to learn. Some people say I need to learn how to act, so. Anyway, throwing this little one in here because I felt like it today, Sunday afternoon, and felt like making the Bridgeport a little bit nicer. So basically, what I'm going to do is take this machine and get rid of all this blue stuff so I can get it more closer to, to an even surface. trying to do is stay away from all of the, the spots that are high or excuse, or excuse me or low like this one is and I've only been hitting where the blue is trying to bring this surface closer to that surface this may get loud is a scraper that comes in DAPRA kits. It's got a one inch square in the middle for counting points, but you can use this instead of a, a stone to get off all your little high points. Now I'm at the stage where I'm just trying to get the dead gum thing flat. Uh, it had a little ridge worn on the outside where it didn't touch the dovetail and I want it to smooth all the way across so we're getting it down to one surface. 
I could have put this on my surface grinder with a lot of messing around, but my magnetic sign plate's only 10 inches long. So it would be hanging over on the ends and I'd have to come up with something and frankly with one of these bikes, just as easy to do it this way. Now that I got it all, Great. Use your hand, get all the junk off of it with your hand. Paper towels, you can't really tell what's in it. You can't feel it like you can with your hand. Let's go the other way. Oh, by the way, everybody say a little prayer for Richard. Don't want this on there too thick. If you do, it just doesn't give you a good reading. I'm going. See how it hinges right there, it hinges right here, it's pretty close to being flat. So do it again. Now, if you noticed, I did it like this the last time. Now I'm going to switch and do it this way. That's why I like my welding table for this, because it sticks out. I can get to both sides. Just for good measure. Don't want to drop this. You'll have a very bad day. I'm not pushing down hard on this. I don't want to bend it. Still. I'm going to work on this a while. It's a long, slow process. I'll probably get bored. So I'll bring you back when I got it finished. Waked and ready to go. I got busy and had to finish it, guys.